Tom Evans is, is uh, as far as we can tell, the strongest football player to come through the doors here at the University of Richmond. Well, Tom is a pretty intense dude. I mean, when he hits you, you know it. He, uh, he has a big voice. He's 315 pounds. Can lift like a, uh, I don't know, an ox. He's strong. I'm Thomas Evans from Franklin, North Carolina. I'm a redshirt junior, and I'm the strongest player in the University of Richmond history. My grandfather and my uncle both played at the University of Florida. I always uh, grew up idolizing them, and I really wanted to be like them. That's kind of where it all started. My grandfather always stressed to me that weightlifting was a very important part of football. Obviously, when he played, they didn't do it as much. And, you know, he, he coached for a while, so he kind of saw the transition of the game and kind of stressed to me that it was important. So eighth grade, ninth grade year in high school, kind of you know, realized this was important to be a, the best football player I could be. Strength and conditioning does a, a major part of, uh, of keeping the athletes healthy. You want to train outside of your normal range of motion. That deals with the flexibility of the movements, being able to uh, strengthen your core, your stabilizers, your posterior chain, all of that will help protect the athletes. I hold the uh, three lift total record that I got last summer um, for power clean, squat, and bench press added all together. It, 1575. I also hold a bench press record that I got last summer as well at 525 and the power clean record at 425. Bench press is huge in the pass protection game, kind of setting and punching and uh, keeping away from the defender and being able to walk on and use that power to slow down the pass rush squat. Kind of the same thing as power clean, explosiveness off the line, having that leg power, be able to drive guys off the ball. I watched each and every one of them, so it was pretty impressive seeing him clean like 425 when I'm still doing like 325. I'm like, I don't know how you get 100 pounds on the bar and, and lift it that fast. He can get after it in the weight room. He's, uh, he's strong. Like when he did his squat max, it was impressive. He hit the ground, he came out like a rocket, and it was just like, oh my God, Tom, <laughs> Jesus. There's a lot of energy in the weight room when somebody goes the max out regardless of who it is or how much weight they're hitting. If it's a personal best for them, we're all gonna get behind them and get excited. We were hyped, no doubt about it, Piers. We'd never seen somebody lift so much weight. He's really humble about it, but uh, we like to bring it up a lot just because it's, it's a cool thing to have somebody so strong in the weight room with you. Even though Thomas has these great numbers in terms of his maximum lifts, we focus more on how fast we move things. So when you're playing the game of football, it's obviously good to be strong. It's always better to be stronger than your opponent. Right, but the real key is being able to transfer you know, that strength with speed and explosion. And that's something that I see him being able to do because of his development in the weight room. He trains. He doesn't just come into the weight room to work out, to get a check mark. He has great flexibility. Um, he performs the exercises very well, so um, you know, it takes a lot of ownership in that, a lot of pride. So the first thing I would say is he's very committed. It's kind of become the standard at which all of our players are trying to move towards. So there's great value in that in your program. It's not just that I'm the strongest guy, look at these numbers. It's, hey, look at Thomas work. You know, look how he goes about his business. Look how important it is to him. It obviously has given him a tremendous amount of confidence. When he approaches the field, he walks out to that line um, and gets ready to put his hand in the ground. There's no doubt in my mind he feels like he's the strongest man on that field. Being a linebacker going against him, it's, it's hard. He's, I can't get any pushback. I just have to try to meet him at the line. And with his strength, he can move guys. He is definitely to his business. He's serious. He's getting after it. Off the field, you know, he's, he's just a regular old guy. He's a really, really neat kid, likes to hunt, likes to fish. And there was a moment in time that I was like, boy, is he going to really fit in here at the University of Richmond? He looks like Grizzly Adams, you know, with the big beard and the, and the whole bit. You know, when he, was, when he was very young and he got here, I asked Big Tom, I was, you know, what are you going to do Saturday? You know, 
Um, well, I'm going to go down to the river, I'm going to catch my food, and uh, I'm going to, you know, I'll put it on my grill back home and, uh, and that'll be dinner. You know, that was kind of like the mountain man coming to Richmond, you know, and, uh, and, and genuine, you know, but uh, I said, man, I sure hope you catch enough because I don't know if there's enough fish in that river for you, but he, that, that's the kind of guy he is. He's not really the stereotypical kid here at the university, so I think that's what's really pretty uh, neat about Thomas's story as he's come here, he's fit in, found his niche, and he's excelling on all fronts.